Hello, everybody. So, my name is Kundan, and I work for Samsung. And uh, generally, I work for Block IO, and this was the first time uh, I delved into uh, memory management. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a part of the Block IO which we will see today. So. Uh, I'll be talking about transitioning get user pages to folio-based mapping. And uh, uh, we have a sample implementation for it. And it is up for discussion. Uh, so we will see what is the current IO path looks like. And if we, uh, uh, with my sample implementation, how it looks like. And what happens after the conversion, what are the benefits of it. The current function call stack, how it looks. And uh, uh, then the, we will discuss about the solution. And uh, also, what are the challenges with this solution? So if we see uh, the current IO path, the user space does a memory allocation. It can use a malloc, a uh, map, or a uh, map backed by huge pages. And uh, then it uh, passes the control to the kernel. The kernel does a page work with the user space address using the uh, process task struct, MM struct, and uh, then uh, using the user space address, it walks through the end of the page table and fetches the pages. So these pages, uh, with, the, with the coming up of uh, MTHP, these pages can be larger, and we can have larger folios instead of just 4K pages, generally what we have. And these pages once are fetched, and they are added to block IO, and then submitted to NVMe. So with the proposed IO path, uh, what we uh, propose is, uh, or what uh, my sample implementation is, is we will uh, have bigger folios ret uh, getting returned as a part of page table walk. And once the bigger folios are returned, we'll directly add it to the block IO. So uh, I will first sh show you what the magic it did. So if we do uh, enable MTHP with 128K uh, size, and we give an IO of block size 128K, then the earlier uh, F-trace function graph, which was taking 28 microseconds, started taking with the newer sample implementation, it starts taking 3.75 microsecond, which is 87% of reduction. This was for the right IO. And yeah, so uh, now let's see what is the current function uh, call stack without the sample implementation. So here we see that we pass a pages array, and uh, a page walk happens on that array. We go through uh, all the levels of page table walk. And in the terminal function, we take a reference on the folio. And this reference on the folio is taken uh, for every 4K page, it is taken once. So if you say uh, see 128K IO, it will be taking 32 times. And th this part of code earlier was taking a reference on pages, and uh, this got converted to folio. So now with my uh, sample implementation, which I did, where I converted get user pages to get user folios based mapping. So uh, we, instead of passing a folio uh, uh, pages array, which was passed earlier, I started passing a folio vec array. The idea for folio vec, I got it from uh, bcachefs. It is getting used there. Because the folio size can be variable, we have to retrieve the size also. And uh, uh, that was one part. And then uh, I changed the function signatures of all the function to accept a folio vec array instead of the pages array. The third thing what, what, uh, what the sample implementation has is it uh, uh, checks for the copy on write. Like uh, initially the folios can be contiguous and we will have a larger folio which is directly mapped to the page table. But uh, because of some reasons it, it might be that uh, one of the page uh, uh, got changed in between and that's why we have to take care of, con uh, for contiguity we have to take care of cow considerations. And then we take, uh, in this sample impl implementation, we take a reference on the large folio, a folio vec only once. And once these things are done, uh, and we uh, get the folio vec array at the bio layer, we have to just add the folio vec array to the bio without any further processing. So th that's what uh, saves the time. 
so the the challenges uh, i'll discuss two challenges first challenge is if if i change all the uh, function prototypes to pass a uh, a folio vec array and number uh, and our folio vecs also i'll pass ex, ex, these two are the new arguments then uh, there are several 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 users of these functions already available do 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 we intend to change all of them so th this was the challenge and the the second challenge is uh, allocation of a folio vec array so this is a performance pass and uh, path and uh, the moment we do uh, extra allocation, which, which I am currently doing for a folio array, it, it, it will reduce the IOPS by about 9%, 10% for, uh, for the I, at least 4K IO. So, so currently how it is handled is how, do we, uh, how the pages array is not allocated and without allocation only the IOs proceed, is uh, the, the pages array takes an offset from uh, IOVEC array of bio and then uses the same memory. And uh, yeah, so so th that that was one thing which was happening. And the second thing which was proposed by Hannes was uh, uh, can can we use a folio batch approach where we have about 32 pointers on the stack, and then we fill the 32 pointers and uh, uh, it moves like that. So can can we do like that? That that will also avoid allocation. And and or, or the other way is uh, just have 32 pointers on the stack and then fill it uh, if the size of the IO is bigger than 32 pointers, then uh, allocate a bigger chunk. So yeah, this, this here uh, uh, recently I placed the sample implementation where I changed all the functions and uh, we have, uh, in the sample implementation, we are changing the main function, the terminal functions where, the, where we fill the pages array, uh, which was fast PT range and uh, and yeah, records of folios. So yeah, the, these were the part of the page table uh, walk, the terminal functions what we changed, and pinning, of, uh, pinning and unpinning I am doing only once for a folio vec. And uh, yeah, so uh, some part of these changes has been applied on the, in the block IO part, but I did not change any page table uh, walk functions as of now. That's it from my side. Well, more, more, more of a comment than a question. Um, so you, you've, you've correctly identified the problem, right, which is that we currently take a ref count one at a time on the same folio over and over and over again, and that's slow. Absolutely, completely agree with you. That is something that we could optimize today. But I really don't like the approach you've taken. Um, <clears throat> um, so, converting everything over to use folios is a big disruptive change. Um, leaving, we, 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 we need, if, if we're going to do such a big disruptive change, I think we deserve a little bit more value for money than just this, because there, there, are, there are ways of getting, we, we, we could certainly do the amalgamation of getting the, the ref counts. We, we could actually do that without changing the API. Um, the bigger change, the bigger benefit that I want to see, um, John and I had a good discussion earlier uh, this conference. Um, what we want to see is the ability to do IO to memory which does not have a struct page. So that would be uh, memory that come that, that is perhaps provided by a GPU or by um, a network card. I'm sorry, a, a virtual machine. Yes, yes. The, that, that that's the other major use case is that if if you want to, Zen for example has the ability to do I/O to guest memory that it doesn't have a struct page for. So if you're using KVM, that is a disadvantage for KVM relative to Zen today. Yeah. So the, 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 there's a lot of different benefits to being able to do that. So what we want to do is not get user folio, we want get user fire, P-H-Y-R. We've, we've, we've had some discussions about this on the mailing list before. Um, we, we have some starts at code. Um, there's a lot of prerequisites, a lot of moving parts. This is probably a, um, a, a multi-year project, you know, a year or maybe two years. Sounds about right, John, two years, perhaps? 
<laughs> not, there's, there's, there's nothing put, putting John on the spot. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think... I think we can. You, you had a slide where you, where you talked about the the number of microseconds per um, operation. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that one. That'll, that'll do. So we, we 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 can do the mod node page state once per folio instead of once per page, but leave the API the same. I th I think that would be a great patch set. I think that would, so. You know, if if you want to do that patch set, I will review it and and we we can merge that absolutely. Um, I just don't like your API. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. And yeah, as you as we have already done some part of the work, uh, counting the number of pages once and then uploading it once, rather than uh, doing at atomic additions again and again. So that that, that will be a better change. Yes. Great. Um, anyone else? Oh, David. So uh, I think there are, there are many more optimizations we can do here. For example, like we have this patching of PDEs, we can make use of the contiguous bit and all of this. And I think these are all things we can do internally, but I agree with Willie that maybe we, we should keep the external interface as is for now, apply all of these optimizations internally, and then just like make up our minds, what should it actually look like? Uh, I, I assume there will be users that really only can deal with folios, like that they really only can work with folios, I, I assume, um, because not everybody wants to do DMA, for example. Um, I, I, I cannot answer that, but my best guess would be that some people, they just want a folio, anonymous memory, I don't know. And for them, we could think of extending the interface if it's reasonable. But yeah, long term, we want something that that just gives us something back. I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, like with the fizzer, however you pronounce it, I'm getting most likely wrong. Um, we would still like internally, like take a reference if it's a folio and it's just like, if it's a PFN map, there is no folio, no reference, I assume. So, so, so we, we determined that you always do need a ref count. Uh, the question is where, where is the ref count going to be? And so that where, where the ref count is going to be will actually be abstracted away from the GUP code. The GUP code won't know where it is. The GUP code is going to ask the provider of the memory, where do I add N to, I, I, I've taken a reference on N of your, uh, sorry, I've taken a pin on N of your pages. Please increment the appropriate counter. Makes sense. And I mean, maybe you can just make like struct page so small that everything can have a struct page. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have thought about that, but um, so for a, a, a gigabyte of memory, it's, you know, even if you only have eight bytes per struct page, that's still, you know, 256K times eight. That's, you know, it's, it's Can you do the VMAP optimization? I don't, I don't yeah, just yeah. <laughs> We go for, should we go for a break or one minute early? Anyone? Anyone? All right. Thanks, Thank everyone. You.